You enjoy watching content online, whether it be some random animal video, the latest news about other content creators, or some random interesting documentary on the world about something you never frankly would have cared about. But you have been doing the same thing for years, and suddenly you're like an empty shell. The feeling you would get when you used to watch your favorite creator is gone. By learning the right skills, I was able to become a full-time content creator with only 300 subscribers. And so now, it's your turn. I start on this path with a simple question, can I also become a content creator? So you've seen the amazing things that creators have accomplished, the freedom and even the wealth that they possess entice you to do what they are doing. I'm Andy, a full-time content creator focused on helping others elevate their video content skills I share tips on videography, editing, and gear to help you on your creative journey. By the end of this video, you'll learn what it takes to become a full-time content creator and the most important skill that every large creator possesses. As a beginner creator, the chances are high you've never made content before, but you have a favorite content creator, right? What video do you click on instantly when it pops up on your notification or subscription box? This is where you'll get your idea from. Whether you know it or not, you have found the type of content you should create and the niche you should create it in. For me, it was Minecraft. When I first started years ago, by the way, don't go check my channel, I unlisted it. <laughs> but if you ask me on my Discord, I might post the link there. This concept, I call practice like an artist. In sports, athletes will typically look up to a professional player and practice, analyze the same technique as their favorite players. You're doing the same thing here. Having a role model to base your action off of, in most cases, will assist you in improving. Although there are nuances, I won't get too much into this video. Content creation will require more skills than you imagine. Content creation is similar to cooking. Each step has its own required skills. It's up to you whether you can find the most high quality ingredients, videography, put it all together in a way that complements the ingredients, video editing, and then transfer that emotion, love, and care to the person that consumes your food, storytelling and communication. I've been doing this for the last five years and these are the four skills are the top skills I'd focus on if I were to redo everything. So choose one of these skills and practice it daily. If you're camera shy, look, I got you. I made a video on it to help you overcome your fear that you can watch after this video. It's right, this is the information, yeah, right there. If you want to succeed in the content game, you need to find a group of individuals who will join you on this adventure. All right, so Mr. Beast, in one of his interviews, he mentioned that what helped him the most in succeeding. Basically what I did was somehow found these other like four lunatics. We were, three of us were college dropouts, one was a high school dropout, and one, I don't know, he just like quit his job. We were all super small YouTubers, and we basically talked every day for a thousand days in a row and did nothing but just like hyper study, like what makes a good video, what makes a good thumbnail, what, what's good pacing, like how to go viral. And we, we just call it like daily masterminds. And that allowed them to accelerate their channel growth four times what an individual was capable of accomplishing. If you look at it this way, skills and knowledge go hand in hand. Skills is the practice of doing something, whereas knowledge is the information to do something. You first need the knowledge before you can gain the skills. Otherwise, how could you consciously improve your skills if you didn't have the knowledge? Some may get lucky and learn the skill without knowing so, but you don't want to just count on luck when you're first starting. Where will you find a group of people who share the same interests as you? Such as content creating, you might ask. In the description below, there's a link to my brand new Discord, Full-Time Content Creator where we talk about all things content creation. Each month, I open only five spots to the public. That way, I can make sure who's coming in and who's actually being active. This journey to becoming a content creator is incredibly difficult. There will be times where you want to quit, and that's okay. I have had numerous amount of times where I certainly stopped, but deep down, 
I couldn't stop for some odd reason. After going months without creating content, I would get that itch again. And soon enough, I found myself creating again. I'm not gonna lie, the journey has had its ups and its downs, but this ongoing adventure has completely changed the trajectory of my life. Getting paid to be a full-time content creator is one of the most fulfilling jobs I have ever done in my life. I've done tons of jobs since I was 18, working as a server, working at a bank, working in a factory, I've done it. And look, nothing has been as fulfilling or challenging. I wake up each day invigorated for what's ahead of me. So quit when you're winning, not when you're losing. Quit once you have achieved that subscriber count you set out to get. Otherwise, you may come to one day regret what could have been the life-changing event of your life. With only 200 subscribers, I had accumulated the skills that helped me land my first full-time content creator role. Had I stopped at 100, that would have never happened. Which leads us into the next section. That's the truth about opportunity in this field. Famously said by Casey Neistat, It was luck. Yeah, but, but like luck is, what is it? Luck is where preparation meets opportunity. The further you go along on this adventure, the more lucky moments you'll get. Why is it that most people who go viral once can never capitalize on the opportunity? Well, because they weren't prepared for that moment. But you, you'll be prepared for that moment when it comes. And look, luck was a big part of why I was able to get my first full-time content creator role. It was May of 2022, and I had been creating content for the last three years on my own. I had been applying to different jobs for the past five months up to that point. And so I saw one listing on LinkedIn say, content marketer. I read the description and it mentioned content creating. Okay, I hadn't really thought much about it when I applied. So a few days passed as I was getting ready to head to the gym for my usual workout, I get a call from an unknown number. Hey Andy, I was calling about your application to Thrust Flight. Were you still interested? And well, let's just say I hit it big time with the hiring manager and the head editor. Months later, I was curious of why they had hired me. So I asked and they said that out of all the guys that applied, 50% were unprofessional and the other 50% barely had any experience, you had both. That's when I realized that those three years of creating content wasn't for nothing. It was for this moment. I had been building a ship the entire time without knowing what it was going to be used for. And before we get into the last and most important advice, here are the five points we talked about. Recreate content like your favorite creator. Content creation requires four core skills. Create with a group of others. Content creation gets kind of lonely, guys. Content creation is an extremely, extremely difficult adventure, but the rewards are big. The longer you create, the more chances of getting lucky you will get. Just remember, the more you play a game, the more you're gonna get lucky. And I'll let this man end the video for me. He's the one I turn to when I really want to quit creating. And when people say to me, like, what's the one piece of advice you give to an aspiring creator? And, you know, patience. Like, patience above every... Because, like, if you're not willing to give up, if you're willing to stick with it forever, you will find success or you'll die trying, in which case, fuck it, like, whatever. You know, you're not going to be that person in the palliative care saying, I wish I had, hadn't given up, because you didn't give up. You just kept going. You're that person who's like, I got one day left. I can still pull this shit off. 